I would like to welcome our first speaker who's going to tell you what it takes to win your audience. Please put your hands together to welcome Toastmaster Muhammad Shukri. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was about to leave home and Um Ali, my wife, she says, Yalla Abu Ali. Abu Ali means me. We are ready. Just go to the car. <laughs> wife says, I'm ready. <laughs> I said, no, no, I'm not going to fall again for this. When you are fully ready with the abaya on your head, uh-huh, next to my car, you can call me from there. Okay? And plus, she has two daughters to comb their hair, to put their scarf, all the excuses I need to throw myself on the couch and go through my WhatsApp. WhatsApp. When I see you going, I'll be ready. Then suddenly, <coughs> this young lady comes and jumps on me and peeks into my phone. I thought it's my wife. No, it's not. <laughs> it was... Yeah? No? Okay. Fatima, my youngest, she jumps on my shoulder and she wants to look and she says this, these words. Baba, you are so famous. <laughs> Thank you, Habibti. Thank you. <laughs> How do you know? I know, Baba, you're famous. You're everywhere. <laughs> Thank you. What's up? What's up? What's up? And then, Baba, but you know what? There are people who are famous and rich. <laughs> <coughs> uh, <coughs> you know where this is going. Uh, Fatum, and I wish I didn't ask this question. And, and what about dad? Dad, you are famous. Only. Okay, go. Go to your mom. I'm busy. What's up? What's up? <coughs> I cannot continue in my phone. What did she just do to me? What did just she say to me? Famous, but not rich. I don't know why I had a glimpse, um, a wide look at my flat the past 23 years. We are in the same flat when we were two, and now we are seven. And I looked everywhere. I don't know that crack in the wall was there for years. The crack I saw after my daughter's remark was even deeper and bigger. Yes, I am rich. Oh, no. Ah, uh, yeah, I will, I will be. <laughs> I am famous. I am all over. And I'm expanding, but the flat is shrinking for the family. I am doing a lot for others. Inspirational speaker, touch lives, change hearts. I don't know what. What about the life of my loved ones? What are they gaining out of this? What is Fatima, Zainab, Ali, everybody, uh, what are they benefiting from this? Nothing. It's just me expanding and nothing for my loved ones. Ladies and gentlemen, Facebook is good. But give some face for your children. Come back home. Change your home. Do better for them instead of just reaching out. Thank you very much. Okay, that was a speech. <laughs> so I don't want you to tell me any details, but by only by show of hands, nothing extra. Raise your hand if this speech made you think about your life. Just raise your hand. Oh, so many. Raise your hand if this speech made you feel something right here. Something, some, uh-huh, uh-huh. Good, quite a few. And the most difficult one, raise your hand if by the end of the speech you have decided to do something. Wow. In this short speech, I was able to make you think differently 
Is there batteries here? All right, it's me. Maybe it's me. No, no, it's dead. No, you have to change. Uh, it's on? No, it's not on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. <coughs> the batteries were loose, you know. <laughs> Think differently, feel differently. W look at these three things. They are symptoms of what? Quickly, I don't have much time. They are symptoms of life. We think, we do things, uh huh. we feel things, that's why we are alive, all right? So if you can do these three things in any speech, can I call you, you have won your audience? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's your life touching other people's life. What is better than this in public speaking? And Ramona can attest to that, of course, because she changed thousands of lives, not only those who were there, but all across who are still listening to that speech. So great welcome to you, our world champion, Ramona. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's get to business. <coughs> what is life? This is the, this my program, I have shortened it for the time we have. The life in your speech, because I basically believe that your speech will change. No one's life, if there is no life, in your speech. So if you are alive on the audience and your speech is full of life, then it will touch people's life. Because believe me, many speakers are there, they are moving, they are shouting, they are dancing. There is no life in the speech. And you know it, but you have to do a big round of applause at the end. Agree? Okay? Even when you are in front of a live audience, doesn't mean you are alive. How to be alive? to follow the steps which we will explain tonight. Guaranteed that you will touch people's life and change what they do, what they think, and what they feel. All right? So <coughs> we have three steps today. First of all, you need to look for the speech in your life. So you get away from the stage. You go and search in your life if there is a speech there. We will see that, OK? And when you go there, you bring that speech which is in your life to the stage. So we are looking for the life in your speech. And finally, the biggest step is which one of these speeches you can call the speech of my life. That signature keynote, that signature program, that contest world class level speech, which category will that be? So be ready for that. Because ladies and gentlemen, what you want to do is deliver a speech which is natural, out of your life. Okay, so how does life work? Let us see how do we live, okay? And if we are really bringing how we live on the stage, otherwise you will not synchronize with people's lives. Okay, so let us see how do we live. <coughs> what I said about Fatima is also true for you. So now, each one of you, you have a pen, you have a paper, okay? It's a 30 seconds exercise. Don't think, okay? Don't think. Just recall. In 30 seconds only, I will give you 30 seconds to re recall as many sweet memories you had with your mom. Just, just, just count. One, two, three, okay? Because you remember them, all right? As many sweet memories you can recall with your mother. Saina, where is Saina? Saina? Including you, Saina. What is Saina? I just met Saina in the corridor. All right. Yeah, that's you, I think. Saina. Yeah. So okay, kids. All the kids also. So as many. Thirty seconds. Start. Just recall. Just recall. Just recall. One stands out. Put it there. Put it. There. Put the name. Put the heading only. If one stands out, okay. <laughs> Sweet memory, sweet memory. You have so many, I know, you have so many. Good. Okay, time's up, time's up. Get in pairs. Get in pairs, every two together, all right? Every two together. One of you, one of the two, okay, get it in pairs, every two together. Trust me, it's, it's working for you, okay? So, uh, don't start. Hisham, Hisham, who wants to speak? Hisham, Hisham, support Shway, Hisham. So, one of the two raises his or her hand. Only one of the two. Oh, good. So, you are not raising your hand, ma'am? Yes. You are only one of you raised. The one who raised his hand, her hand, 
tell that sweet memory to your friend in 30 seconds only just tell what happened go 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 down yeah breathing huh? all right just tell mafi sword he sword okay good no details muqassat hayatak ha go 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 Okay, stop, stop, stop. What is this red one? Uh, um, time is out. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, good timer I have. All right, good. You did that. Next. In 30 seconds, write down as many sour memories you have with your mom. Put all of you, all of you, no exception. Put it in the list. Yeah, I see some evil smiles. I see. Yeah. Yalla, yalla. Go, 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 go. Put them down. Put them down. Yeah? One sour memory. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. You have so many. Don't, don't, don't lie to me. You have so many. I know. Okay. Stop. The person who didn't raise his hand. Yeah? And the first time. Now it's your turn to tell your sour memory to your friend. You have only 30 seconds. Just tell the memory. Okay? Just, just follow me in this. One, two, three. Timer. Timer. MashaAllah. There is more noise now. <laughs> more noise. Good. Timer. Stop. Stop. Okay. Because lack of time, just follow me. Trust me on this. Okay. Now, tell me what happened when you exchanged that sour and sweet memory. Just tell me. Feedback. Huh. Sorry? You love each other. More. You love each other already. And you love more. Uh, amazing. You just tell a story, huh? Just share a secret in your life and people love you. What else? Good one. Give her a big hand. Give her a big hand. Wait, 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 wait. What, what did you, didn't you understand in big hand? Okay? So let me talk to the Arabs a little bit, huh? Okay? في نوعين من التصفيق في دوراتي. في تصفيق حاد وفي تصفيق حساد. With the medcom, يعني. Come on, big hand, big hand for my lady here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Where is the spirit of Toastmasters, Madam, Tell me. You could what? Connect. All right. That word where, where all the inspire inspiration speakers are looking for. I want to connect with the audience. Why? Throw something at them? Uh, no. But how? By telling your personal deep story. Were you the sour or sweet one? Sweet one. Okay. How about the sour? Okay, good. All right. So, number one, what I recalled from your life is not a story. It's a happening. What is life? Life is a number of experiences, right? Until the end. You don't live stories in your life. You live experiences. Point A, point B, finish. Get into the bus. Point A, point B, finish. It's a series of experiences until the last breath. Right? So what happens with Toastmaster? I don't have a story. Of course you don't. You have experiences. If you look, your radar looks for experiences, you have so many of them. If you look for a story, you don't. Because the stories don't exist outside. Uh, 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 except that ring. What, what, what happens outside is experience. So this is the uh, supermarket. There is some quarrel and fight between the cashier and the, uh, and the, uh, sorry, the customer. And they want to see what happened. They want to see what happened. They go to the CCTV with the manager. The camera is showing one happening, right? But the parties are telling two different. Good. 
So one happening, one experience has different stories. Each thing happens in your life, you make out of it the story you want. Because the stories is a manufactured version of an experience. Got it? So no longer after tonight you will tell me, Ma andi qissa, I don't have a story. Ma, no, no, cannot be. Because your life is full of experiences, like everyone. You just need to pick which one to pick for contest. We will talk, okay? Okay. So, so let us agree on this before we move on. The papers, please. The drop is the stone that something happened in your life, okay? Something happened, okay? And we call that XP, agree? Experience. Thank you very much. So we call it XP, okay? The first drop in the ripple of life. Life happens like a ripple naturally, okay? If you're not natural on the stage, it's because you are not able to bring your natural ripple on the stage. Sometimes you look at a contest and a speech and you say, something is not adding up. Uh-huh. <laughs> I feel something's wrong with the speech. <laughs> it doesn't add up, you know? Okay, so here we go. Experience. So let's pin this down. Life will keep giving you experiences you need. It's up to you to turn them into stories you want. Agree? So next. After the experience, what is the next step? When you live an experience, what is the next step? You learn, because we learn from? We learn, I'm not talking about the speech, I'm talking about your life now, okay? I'm having an experience and we learn from ex experience, yeah. There was a hole there and I stepped on the hole and I fell down. I'm learning from experience. Okay, I'm a safety guy. <laughs> but also a bad relationship. You broke up with someone and you learn from experience, right? And the speech terminology we say, tell a story and make a point. Tell a story and there must be a message, right? You cannot have a story without message. So I want you, madam, to come here. Mike, are you okay with that? Okay. So. That story you told, tell us in 30 seconds only, all right? Happy? Uh, the happy one? Yeah. Which one? Anyone? Hi, okay. 30 seconds, timer, yeah. Hi. Shabla? Hello? Okay. Yeah, yeah, go. Okay. So, I told you about my mom that used, she used to kiss me before going to work or to go to university. Look at them, look at them. This is okay, so training, all right? Training, okay. yellow. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Actually, I was so glad because... Uh, my mom used to kiss me before going to work or to school, and this is the happiest one while she's praying for me, blessing me, and let me go. Say, okay, you, are you can go, you are fair. Thank you. Yep. Wait, wait. Now, what is the message that is coming out of it? Don't think. What is the message you want to tell us? Uh, prayer, prayer and faith are very important to trust your mom, including. Prayer and faith. You trust your mom when she says so, or to bless you. MashaAllah. Big hand for her. Big hand. Thank you. Actually, yeah. parents, parents, it's our galleries in these lives. We are nothing without them. See, see what is coming. Did, did she plan the message before? No. Did you plan this topic before? No, actually... Now it just happened with me. That's why good, I became good, late. Good, because <laughs> what we are doing with you, uh, Toastmaster, Rauda. Uh, Rauda? Rauda Freyes, yes. Okay, Toastmaster Rauda, what we are doing here is we want you to live the life naturally and don't plan the speech. Right. Okay, the way you live, you just said it. See, you have a new topic, new message. You have not forced the message. Unlike many of us, they have a message ready. <laughs> they have a ready message. And then I have to find a story. I don't care, I have to talk about this subject because it's so fancy these days. The trend these days is this message. I have to talk about it. I don't have a story, but I will fit, I will fit something. But Rauda lived naturally. She just told the story and then she said the message. This way you will be more ingenious. The number of topics are so many and you will be creative. Rather than you say, what shall I speak about? Don't think, what shall I speak about? Tell me your story. 
and the rest will be beautiful. Actually, this is the one we live honestly. Honestly, yeah. yeah so and and you can honesty. see honesty and you can see connectedness. Yeah. Thank you, Toastmaster Rauda. Thank you very much. Big, 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 big. So, if you want to win your audience, don't make up a topic. Let the topic come like the baby and the mother. Which one comes first? The mother. Then the baby comes, right? So, the mother is the story and the baby is the topic. Let it be a natural birth, okay? So, that's number one. After that comes the learning. MashaAllah, learning. Learning, okay, learning. Ripple number two. Are you sure? Let me ask Fatima, my daughter. You want another story, right? Okay. Fatima, my daughter, when she was a lot younger, she comes home. Mama, Um Ali, she is cooking in the kitchen. And she says, Mama, what's for lunch? Wait, your elder brothers did not come from school. Wait. <laughs> A lady waits. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she couldn't wait, sorry. And she went inside. My wife is cooking and she's doing the salad, but the hot pot is on the stove and she wants to know what exactly is cooking. Machbus will let you know. All right? So she comes inside and she sneaks slowly, slowly. She goes to the hot pot. My wife notices at the very last minute, La, Fatma, La. No. It was too late. Ah. And she cries. What is this? What's that? Experience. What does my wife want to do? Right? How many times I told you, Habibti, don't touch. I told you that. <laughs> what my wife is not, of course, this is not a true story. I'm, I did it for the sake of training. There is something in between that happened. There is something in between. My daughter is going through pain. My daughter is horrified. What is this hot thing? Why did I burn myself? What did happen? But we don't address the internal conversation of our kids. We want to go to the learning. I told you. Several times. What do speakers do? No offense. They tell a story. They finish with a story. Fellow Toastmasters, today I want you to. Wait, 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 wait. What about what you went through? No, it's too embarrassing. Brush it under the rug. I'm telling this, I don't have the time to show you so many examples. I coached so many people. This part is hidden. This part is called, yalla. I'm talking life, not speech. We'll see how our world champion did that, okay? What is this? I, sh I think I should put it like this, la, Adil. Okay, impact, learning. That's what I did with the story of Fatum in the beginning, by the way. But you need to determine these layers. You step into an experience, and before coming and telling me what you learned, nobody learns from experience unless they have gone through pain. Because mother does deliver a baby, but in between is the labor. Right? The baby will not come naturally if there is no labor. Why don't you talk about the labor? Why? It's too embarrassing, right? Not for Ramona, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we don't. Okay. So, experience. Tell me what happened inside of you and then give me your preaching and your lessons and your golden advice because where how can I connect with you if I didn't see your suffering man or woman so what should my wife do parents oh my darling what happened step into this zone 
and coach your daughter. What happened? Does it hurt? Of course you know it hurts, but you have to ask. Open a dialogue. Darling, is it hurting? How much? So much, mommy, so much. Right? Oh, why did it happen? Of course you're not dumb. You know why it happened. But you want to take your client, <laughs> your daughter, your audience into that feeling zone. Because without feeling, there will be no learning. If you broke up with someone, you have gone through suffering. And because of the suffering, you decided something in your life. And you decided to come and teach us on the stage. Share the feeling. Why are you hiding this part? If you hide it, it's not a natural ripple. And if it's not a natural ripple, it will not touch people's lives. Because it's not all your life. It's only part of the truth. Got it? Okay. <laughs> so, let's move with this. First of all, stay a, a student of life. Like Rawda did, she let the story teach her. He, she didn't put a story, a, a message at the Let life, don't teach life, let life teach you. Stay open to the wonders life has to offer. I'm sure it is on Ahin. I'm sure, I'm sure. Can you click? Okay, so what we missed, click, is the impact. Okay? How do you go through the impact? Now, in my master class, I teach this in details and I let everyone do this. There are three R's. Get your pens ready. Three R's to unfold the feeling in a systematic, natural, organic way. Yeah, and you don't come in the feeling, Wallah, it was bad. It was. No, 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 no. I don't want you to shout. I don't want you to make the place crazy and makes no point. Just blast your uh, feelings. No. The natural way a person goes through the feelings before the learning, three R's. R number one, reaction. First, react. The moment the shock happens, you will react. Spontaneously, you don't know. You don't, you don't have control over your senses, actually. They will react naturally. Have you seen just for laughs and gags? React. So that's where Ramona was reacting. R number two, reflect. After the shock, after you react, you somehow start thinking, what just happened? And Ramona was telling us here, I was looking at a mirror. She was looking back in her life. She was making sense. She was interpreting what happened. So R number two, reflect. Put it in your speeches, by the way. Huh? R number three is realize. And that is before you go to the message. Don't rush to the message. Let me live the suffering with you. Let me get in touch with you. Let me synchronize with you. And then come and teach me a lesson in life. So there you go, three R's. Learning, sorry, XP, impact, learning. If you do that, you will not deliver your speech. Your speech will deliver you. Okay? It will come organically. It will just burst out of you. So now, step number two. How does this come on the stage? This is your life. You, you have an experience. You have learning, but only through impact, right? This is your life. In the speech, we call it what? The experience, we call it? And the impact, we call it? And the learning, we call it? If you live your life like this, parallelly, you bring your speech exactly like this, then you will have the, sp the life in your speech. And if there is life in your speech, you, your speech will touch people's lives. Simple, organic. The way you live, the way you speak. You tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but. That's what Ramona did. <laughs> life in your speech. So we have three ripples. 
Every speech you deliver, if you hide something, you are not an authentic speaker. If you are not an authentic speaker, I don't care what you win, because if you win trophies and lose yourself and integrity, <laughs> what's there to live for? Hmm? So, let us do this together and shout in this room. This is a speech, okay? 101 public speaking. A speech is what? Story, feeling, message. Keynotes, workshops, everything you can apply, okay? I do that in my boot camp, but a story is what? Is what happened. Feeling is? Read it, read it. How did it touch me? Learning, huh? Message? What did it teach me? Again, 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 again. Don't forget the slide, okay? What is a speech? An authentic speech. What happened? Yalla. Touch me. And then? Then I will tell people what did it teach me, huh? Can we do it, everyone together? Again, a speech is? Give yourselves a big hand. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, public speaking 101. This is the minimum, bare minimum we want from speakers to be honest with us. And that's how they will win the audience and win us. Because people who tell only a story are called storytellers. And we love them. If you only have a story, go on Snapchat. <laughs> Those who only have a message, only preaching, only advice, with no stories, we call them. And we, we respect them. Those who have a story, but also a message, we call them. And we need them of course but those authentic people who get on this stage steal a lot of our attention take a lot of our time we pay for them <laughs> <laughs> but they tell us a story they don't hide any feelings they are so true to our, ourselves to themselves and to us and they share a message we call them inspirational speakers and we want to Okay. A point, okay, message received. Oh, what am I? Microphone on here. Speak into the I have just recruited my agent. <laughs> okay, that's what you are here for. Hide nothing. Dr. Phil says if you have nothing to hide, and then hide nothing. If you have something to hide from your audience, sit where you are and learn from Ramona. Authentic speaking is what we are missing. Oh, did we finish? How many ripples? One, two, three. Anything else? Did I miss anything? Did I miss anything? What? Message is there. This is the message. Implementing. What is implementing? Call for action is in the speech. Back to your life. If you have lived something, went through suffering, and you learned something, share it, even if it happens once. But there are experiences which take you beyond this. And they make a what? Change in your life. It's not one off. I saw a poor man, and I gave him money, and he felt happy, and I felt happy. He did it once time, one time bad. <laughs> Only one time. It's okay. Share it. It's true and it's authentic. Share it until here. No problem. But if you want to become an international speaker, paid, <laughs> invited, re-invited, win people's hearts, minds, don't share with me anything that did not change you consistently. Do you have something like this in your life? All of us have. Every one of us have become a person today because a shift 
if your story has taken you to a stage where constant change, your life has a shift, total shift, we no longer call this an XP, we call this a, which is? Turning point. Turning point. Give this man a big hand. Share all your XP's to everyone honestly. If you have a TP, then put this for your contests. Least important is the contest, but everything else, like GTC I spoke to last night. Change. It becomes a what? There are few TP's in your life, and if anybody I coach wants to become a professional speaker, or wants to win an o uh, you know, a trophy or something, all right? I challenge him or her, is it a TP or not? If it's a TP, how much suffering you got there? And they hide it. Most of the time, they hide it. That's why there's no connection, okay? I'm running out of time, I think. Okay. So let me add this piece of information. Your pins. When you tell your experience, this is what you do. What will audience do? They will relate, write it. When I tell my story, people will relate to my story, right? So if some audience comes to you, I, I related to your speech. No, they mean I related to your story. Not the whole speech. Not the whole speech. <laughs> when you share your feelings openly, people will connect. So if someone comes to you and say, I connected with your speech, they are not telling, ex they are not precise. They don't know this. They have connected during this stage. So if you remove Habibi, this stage, Mafi connection. Fi, there is something like, ah, oh, bas. Only. You got me? You want people to connect with you, to have the goosebumps and the judges to lose the pen. Don't know where is the pen? Do this part honestly, sincerely. And watch Ramona's speech exactly in the middle. When you share the message, people will commit. Here, people relate. How many pounds have I lost so far? <laughs> people will relate here only if you have good storytelling skills. People will connect here only if you are brave enough. And again, storytelling, describing feelings is not easy. And people will commit to you with one condition. If you move in this direction. If you apply this like a ripple, think of a ripple. The first ripple will happen because of the stone. Tach, something happened. Ripple one will happen. Ripple number two is relying on ripple number one. It cannot happen by itself. Ripple number three depends on ripple number two. So if you cancel any stage, the whole speech will be distorted and people will say, why am I hearing the same speech every year? <laughs> right? Because everyone wants to be like everyone and follow the trends which they don't exist. Why am I doing this? If we have a speakers who come to the stage only after changing their lives, then the world will be a better place. Otherwise, there are so many speakers. They are getting more and more. And our world is not getting better. The message are, messages are so beautiful, right? Inspiration, so many. <laughs> Things are not getting better. And you're taking how many, I'm taking how many lives here? It, it's a responsibility in the front of God. I'm taking this much people. <laughs> okay. My high selling programs, all of them are TPs, not XP. Me no speak English program. 4,000 souls, I proudly say I liberated. <laughs> And I made it a program. It's how to empower my fellow Arab citizens to get over the English problem. You have no idea how many people are losing their dreams because of this. It is, you don't know that uh, silently. We are good in English, all of us, so we are not. The one and only, that's my highest uh, program. It's, be it's because of a terrible 
turning point. And now it has become lately a corporate program. Okay? It's, but it started from there. And so can you find the life in your speech. So to sum it all, first of all, three steps. This find the speech in your life. Forget the stage. Look in your life, something happens, sweet, sour, etc. Okay? That has touched you, touched you, not any story. Then bring that to your stage. If you do that exactly, you will have life in your speech. And if one of those stories takes you far to the change, you, I call it the speech of your life. That's a different category. Take care of it. That's your next to Tony Robbins. Uh huh. So, Fatima, back to my home. I'm going Bahrain tonight. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm missing Fatum. And uh, I decided not to only change people's life, but to change my family's life. And if I want to change people's life, I will not choose anything that did not change me because that's my, that's my obligation as a speaker, as an authentic speaker, okay? Only things that change me, I will share with people. Otherwise, I don't deserve to tell, be the change. Kali <laughs> wali. Talk about yourself, first of all. I was happy to see my daughter chosen to speak in the nursery. Yeah. And she, I'm taking care of her, of my home. And these days, inshallah, I bought home for my daughter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. But it's not the home. It's not the home, it's the home. It's the people, okay? Take care of your people before, take care of yourself, your heart, your soul, before you go out and speak to us. That's the only way you can change people's life. Because I cannot go and change people's life. I have to look clearly, naturally, organically, how is my life happening, and then I bring it on the stage. Because ladies and gentlemen, I'd rather live my speech and not give it, than give my speech and not live it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Thank you. Love you, Ramona. Love you.